It's the final week of the regular season as the Saints travel down to Tampa Bay to take on the 7 and 8 Bucks, and the Saints have all their starters in as the first place spot in the NFC South is still on the line. Drew Brees finds Michael Thomas on the sidelines on the comeback route for the first down. And then on the very next play, Breeze hooks up with Brandon Coleman. On the drag route, he picks up a first down as well. And then once again, next play, Breeze tries to hook up with Procise on the wheel route, but he underthrows it a bit, and it's picked off by Quan Alexander. And the Bucks are now on offense. So Jameis Winston in the shotgun. Four wide. Steps up in the pocket, but it's not going to stop Hendrickson to come out from the outside, pick up a sack, and nothing was going for the Bucks. Still nothing, nothing as we head to about halfway into the second quarter. Quarter, as Drew Brees rolls out to his left on a play action, sets his feet, fires downfield, and has Brandon Coleman down at the two-yard line. Huge reception by Coleman, huge throw by Breeze, and then Kamara would top the drive off on the next play, punching it into the end zone. It's now a 7-2-0 Saints lead. Later on in the second, Saints back on offense. Drew Breeze hooks up with Michael Thomas on the curl route, who's taken down by a face mask, so they're deep inside Bucks territory. A few plays later, they find themselves on the three, and Kamara gets in on the toss. 14-0 Saints as they're running away with this game against the Buccaneers. Move things on into the third quarter. Kamara picks up a few blocks and watch him run. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown Alvin Kamara. His third touchdown of the day as the Saints now lead this one 21-0. Later on in the third, Kamara gets another handoff and he is tackled hard. Injured on the play, holding his wrist despite it being a dislocated elbow he is going to be out for multiple weeks so the Saints are heading into the playoffs without Ingram and without Kamara so Procise and Edmonds are the running backs now as Breeze hooks up with Michael Thomas there over the middle and then hands off to CJ Procise picks up a block from John Kuhn the gritty man and Procise gets into the end zone as it's now a 28 to nothing Saints lead Late fourth quarter now after a bunch of running out the clock from the Saints as Winston's taken down in the end zone by Davison and Hendrickson for a combined safety. 30-0 Saints as that would be your final. The New Orleans Saints improve to 13-3 to end the season and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers drop to 7-9 as we now head into the wild card weekend as these Falcons did secure first place in the NFC South. So Alvin Kamara out for the playoffs, Mark Ingram out for the playoffs, Ted Ginn out for the playoffs. A lot of playmakers down for the Saints, will they have what it takes? Despite being hurt in the third quarter, Alvin Kamara did have a huge day. He had 13 carries for 150 yards and three touchdowns, while Brandon Coleman had a huge day in the receiving game, six catches for 114 yards for the former Rutgers Scarlet Knight. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Saints Football. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Sipping something inappropriate, so it's odorous. Sitting inside of my styrofoam, I'm going in. Trying to make a new song for you to rock to. Even though the work week sucked, I still got you, got to. This shit is up in my jeans. When shit gets tough, I just gotta release. Throw a fist up, fuck it, beat up the beat. I sure ain't Jersey, but I'm sexing the beach. Oh no, the drinks got me running off the mouth.